All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a little quick walkthrough on the 2016 690. Um, this is the Lynx headlight system. Uh, this is a Baja Designs. I think it's called the Squadron. So this is your brights. It is just so crazy how good it is. Um, they're both on for regular headlight, but this one really kicks in when you, um, you know, go to high beams. This is your adjustable windscreen. Like if you know you got a long p pavement stretch, you can put it up. Uh, I freaking love that thing. It's amazing. Uh, super plush suspension. It's just a really good San Francisco company. Um, these are the little like mini crash bars kind of. Like I've actually dropped this thing in the rocks and they save the radiator. And you can sit like this and like, it's pretty sweet. Uh, lowered foot pegs, titanium with the brake shifter. This is like the luggage system. It's not for a hard rack. It's, you could do roto packs here. Um, it's pretty sweet. It, I run Rocky Mountain, excuse me, Wolfman Rocky Mountains over these and they hang here. So this, there's no metal support anywhere in the rear fender system on these 690s. So that's why you have to have these supports because everything goes to the foot pegs, right? And then here. So what we did is this is the per run rack that everybody gets, but it breaks the rear fender assembly almost instantly. Like you can't put, they, they say you can put like seven pounds, like it's a joke. So we fabbed up these custom little bars that connect and handle all the weight. So what the way we ride is I'll do the roto packs here with a gallon of water and a gallon of gas. It's been epic. Um, this is the Renazco custom seat. It's so much better than the seat concepts. Like, it's, there's no comparison. Um, the subframe bolt mounts have been done. The, um, let's see, what else? So those were done. Chain and sprocket, TMI slider guard, FMF pipe. Let's see, I'll do a part two because it's getting too long. Uh, part two, the gas stock gap gas system was terrible. Uh, this keeps the dirt out. Um, that was a nice little upgrade. It's ready for your Scott stabilizer. Selfishly, I put it on my new bike. Um, this is a frame mount super trick. Um, here's the link system set up. This is for your GPS. I was running the 590 on here. I took that. You're not getting that. Um, let's see. What else? Standard handguard stuff. Uh, obviously upgraded skid plate. Um, I did the shift pro, I think it was called. It's this little silly ceramic bearing that goes in the, the clutch side over here. Um, it's like 150 bucks and it's just a little shift lever in here that it makes it shift a little smoother. You know, the 690s can get notchy or pop out of gear and the ceramic shifting thing helps. So that's in there. Um, uh, the... Beefy radiator guards, those are awesome. I love those things. Um, I put a little better horn on there because you know you actually have to have a good horn. And um, so, if you want to use the extra fuel tank, the Raid Garage deal, um, here's the petcock, right? So it's got off or on, right? So, what I'll do is I'll keep it on off, but then I'll keep a gallon of gas under the seat as like my reserve. So let me show you what you do. Let's see if you can see this. You pull the little. Okay, the so here is the Raid Garage system. That is the really cool little extra gallon of gas. Breather hose, this is where you fill it. Um, this is the mapping plug-in deal. It's not a new ignition, it's just like, a, it just manipulates it. But this bike has always had so much power, I've never even thought of messing with it. Uh, the dongle is in here, so when you come to a stop when you're riding, your ABS will stay off. Um, I love that thing. You can unplug it if you're on the street and you want your ABS back. Uh, this is the air filter system that comes with this. It's a much better system. You can't really see it, but it's a totally contained box. It's so awesome. It's easy to clean. It's two screws. This is actually clean and nice and oiled. It's just stained. Um, 
That thing's totally killer. Uh, let's turn her on real quick. So that is regular, that's high beams. So it's, it's unbelievable. Um, 6,700 miles. Sounds amazing. Um, uh, the other thing I did want to say is I've had a couple questions about the Oregon registration. Uh, I just do it to save a little money. I work up in Oregon. So, excuse me, um, it was a California bike originally. It's absolutely zero headache to go register it back in California or wherever you're going to register it. So, uh, clean title. It's just a good bike, you know. I'm just making a little change, going to the 500, you know, I'm just bored. Anyways, enjoy guys, it's an insane bike, rides awesome.